let us see about the different types of power electronic devices and its ideal characteristics so power electronic devices are of three types diode thyristor and transistor in diode we have general purpose diode fast recovery diode and schottky diode so in thyristor family we have ser gto triac and diac so under transistor family we have bjt mosfet and igbt so these devices and its uh, construction and working we have already seen in the previous videos next is the type of device based on the control that is whether you can control the turn on and turn off process so first thing is the uncontrolled device so as the name suggest you cannot control both on and off process example diode so if you see here during pass to have cycle diode will be forward biased it gets turned on automatically during that is negative half cycle diode gets reverse biased and turns off automatically so you are not able to control the on and off process that is called uncontrolled device next is semi controlled device so the what do you mean by semi semi means half so you can control the on process but you cannot control the off process so it is called semi controlled device so you have ser and triac under this category so in ser you know during pass to have cycle it will be forward biased but it cannot turn on unless you give a gate pulse here so once you give a gate pulse it gets turned on so on process is under your control but off is not under your control because only when anode current falls below the holding current ser will get turned off so ser comes under semi control device the next is fully control device it means that you can control both on and off process example all this uh, transistor devices bjt mosfet igbt and gto so gate turn off thyristor so if you give a positive pulse it will conduct if you give a negative pulse it will stop conducting and these transistors if you give a gate it will conduct if you remove the gate it will get switched off so this is a mosfet so if you give a gate pulse it will get turned on and if you remove the gate pulse it will get turned off so it comes under fully controlled device so basically there are three type of devices based on the control you have over the switches that is uncontrolled semi controlled and fully controlled so next is depending upon the direction of current flow it allows so you know it very well a, a device will conduct current in one direction or two direction so if it is a unidirectional switch it can carry current in one direction only like um, most of the devices are unidirectional devices diode ser bjt igbt everything so you, you see here ser always current flows from this direction to this direction that is anode to cathode so it comes under unidirectional switch next is bidirectional switch the best example is triac so triac is nothing but two ser's connected in anti parallel direction so it can carry current in this direction or in this direction also so based on the direction of current flow it is classified into unidirectional switch or bidirectional switch 
Next is the type of voltage based on the polarity of the voltage the device can block. It is a unipolar voltage blocking switch or a bipolar voltage blocking switch. So if you take a diode, it can block only reverse voltage because when it is positive um, forward biased, it will conduct automatically, but it can block the reverse voltage. But if you take a PJT, it can block the forward voltage because when you apply gate voltage only, it will conduct. So don't get confused with bipolar and unipolar voltage switch. Okay. So BJT is a bipolar device that is bipolar junction transistor. Here bipolar denotes that current flow is due to both majority and minority carriers. But here we are talking about the polarity of voltage it is blocking. So the classification is mainly to say what type of the uh, voltage it can block, whether it can block one polarity or two polarity. So based on this, this classification is done. So unipolar or bipolar blocking switch. But this bipolar type of device means that denotes the current flow is due to whether majority carrier or minority carrier. Okay, so that is different from this one. So bipolar voltage switch is uh, example is SCR because though it is forward biased, only if you give the gate pulse, it will conduct. Otherwise, it will block forward voltage. It can block reverse voltage also. So it is a bipolar voltage blocking switch. So. Let us see about the different devices and its ideal VI characteristics. So diode, we know we have an anode cathode. So it is an uncontrolled device. It carries current only in one direction and it can block the reverse voltage. So if you draw the VI characteristics, we know it is a unidirectional switch. So it, it can carry current in this direction only. Then it can block reverse voltage only. So this is the VI characteristics of a diode. So next we will see about SCR. So SCR can carry current in one only direction. So it is a unidirectional switch and it can block bipolar voltage. So unidirectional current, then bipolar voltage. So two side voltage it can block. So this is SCR. So GTO is similar to SCR except that it is a semi control switch, but this is a fully control switch. So you have a unidirectional current and it can block bipolar voltage. So unidirectional current and bipolar voltage. So next is BJT. So BJT, it is a fully controlled device. So only when you give gate pulse, it will conduct. If you remove gate pulse, it will not conduct. So it can carry current only in one direction and it can block only forward voltage. So current and voltage. So this is the VI characteristics. So if you take MOSFET, you can see that you have a one anti-parallel diode or that is called the body diode of MOSFET. So when MOSFET conducts, current will flow from drain to source. When MOSFET is in off state, this diode can carry current in opposite direction. So MOSFET is a bidirectional device. So it can carry current in bidirectional. So current draw in both directions. Voltage it can block the forward voltage. So next is IGBT. So 
so it's a fully controlled device unidirectional current unipolar voltage and unidirectional current and it blocks forward voltage so the points to remember here are it is uh, the devices are classified into three types diode thyristor and transistor so again it is classified into unidirectional or bidirectional switch based on the direction of the current it carries then um, it can be an uncontrolled device semi controlled device or fully controlled device and it can be uh, unipolar device or bipolar device this classification is mainly based on the polarity of the voltage it can block the so these are the references and this reference um, chapter 4 is very good uh, to learn about switches and how to realize a switch and you can also study uh, this book it's a very good book on power electronics so if you like the video do subscribe to our read electric vehicle thank you